Good morning, Nick. It's Isa. I am making this video for you because I recently unfurled my nemesis, the spiral, and then I coincidentally saw your uh, spiral video online, and I had two things I wanted to add to what you said. The first one was, you talk about different grips, but what I noticed was, anytime I have a grip where they come out these two fingers, it doesn't work nearly as well as if it's coming out of the index and thumb area. And that's pretty consistent. So if you're using handles, like I have been using for pretty much all of my poi career, then when you are holding your handles in one of these kinds of grips, it's coming out of here harder to handle and get into and out of the spiral than down here, in my opinion. And then the other thing was, um, you talked about planes, which I thought was great, and then you talked about the crossing, which was awesome. And although it's super obvious, in order to get the split time, you have to cross the opposite hand first. So you can't wrap yourself and then start the wrap with the opposite hand. Of course. Yeah, the split time. In order to maintain the split time, you have to cross the opposite hand before your own hand. Like the poi has to cross, the right poi has to cross the left hand before the right hand, and the left poi has to cross the right hand before the left hand. Um, it's getting sunny out. And I'm allergic to the sun, so I'm gonna go. But um, I thought this might help you or someone else, you when you're teaching, someone else when they're learning. Bye, have a good day. Um, this is Glitter Girl over and out. Reporting from Mount Tam, after a rave all night. Oh yeah, and the rave was called supercalifragilisticexpialidocious.